Hey everyone, it's Greg from Stationary Shenanigans. Sorry, I've been delayed and a bit MIA. I actually got COVID, so I'm okay. Um, it's been a few days now. Um, I was lucky that the moment I tested positive, I was able to schedule an appointment with my doctor and was prescribed the Paxlovid medication. I am fully vaccinated, all that stuff. And I'm lucky to just be able to stay home over the next few days while I recover but that's impeded my ability to do much. Um, I just haven't had the desire, the energy to do anything. And it's a shame because when I got home from this weekend's trip, I received a package from Travelers Company USA that I really wanted to um, film a video about. So I apologize if I sound funny. Um, I hope you're all healthy and safe and hopefully on the next few days, I'll be on the up and up and can get back to my regular day-to-day -day life. So. Um, before I open the package, I just wanted to announce the giveaway winner. Um, I'll be sending the winner passport size limited edition for this year, the folder and the writing board. Um, and the winner is B Pair. So B Pair, if you can go ahead and email my Gmail account, I'll put it on the screen right now, stationary.shinigans at gmail.com. I will go ahead and send that out to you. Thank you everyone who's entered the giveaway or just shared your comments about your traveler's notebooks. I love reading what everyone does. I love generating conversations. That's one thing I would love to do more of with my channel and YouTube in general is creating a community for everyone to kind of share their um, their creativity with, with their traveler's notebooks and stationery. I just love it. So again, thank you all so much. And I will go ahead and open this package. I will say, uh, the last few packages I got from Traveler's Company did not have any of the stamps on them, but this time, this time they do, so that's kind of cool. On the back, it has the big coffee stamp, and then they have a nice trip. So, memory serves me, this should be my limited edition brass ballpoint pen that I ordered at the DC Pen Show that was scheduled to ship in October. Unless I somehow got a package that's a surprise, uh, I believe that this was it. So I was just going to wait until we're all together to open it. So I'm just going to cut open here. I didn't receive any notification or anything, but I, I, I thought um, that the pens were starting to ship in October, so I could be wrong. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna open for the bubble wrap. Sorry for the bubble wrap noise. Oh, I think some of you like it. I think Paris said that she likes the plasticky noise. Okay, so this is my customizable Traveler's Company um, pen. Oop, there's, okay. Let's zoom in so you can actually see it. Okay, so this, I got it to say shenanigans after my YouTube channel. And it's a cup of coffee, so let's just open it. Yep, it has the order number and all that. So I've actually, I, like I said before, I've never gotten any Traveler Company writing implements, which is funny since I love Traveler's Company so much, but I figured this was the time since I was able to order it at the pen show, made in Japan, brass ballpoint pen. It looks really nice. First of all, I love the blue. It's just very blue. Like, I guess this might be royal blue. And then it says shenanigans in gold. And it's a coffee cup with coffee beans. Now, you could... I thought of all different kinds of things I'd want to put on there, whether it's my name or something else. I just like the word shenanigans because it's also part of my YouTube channel. And I chose the coffee cup. They did have an option for, like, an actual regular size traveler's notebook icon. But it really just looked like a rectangle to me, and I feel like the coffee cup is a little bit more clear. So yeah, there's my shenanigans pen. Uh, the This part up here is gold, and the rest is silver. Or not gold, brass, and the rest is silver. And it has a nice matte finish, so it is really sleek looking. It's lighter than I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, let's see, is it unscrew? Okay, yep. It oh, and like the pen itself... Is like a wooden body. So I'm gonna take the little plastic covering off and let's just test it in my notebook here.
Again, sorry if I sound funny or I'm breathing heavy. It's just the COVID. So, okay. So your standard black ballpoint ink, it's very smooth. I like um, ballpoint ink, is that the word I want to use? Oil ink? Oil based ink? Wow, I'm starting to get tired. Um, that's usually one of my favorite things to write with because it's the most reliable in all types of paper. Sometimes if I have certain forms at work that I need to fill out, using a rollerball or a gel pen is too much. And I just like the nature of a ballpoint pen. So there it is. I'm so excited for it. I forget what the other color choice was uh, for the DC pen show, but I went with the blue and I don't regret it. So um, there we have it. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, and I will see you next time. Take care.